welcome back to my channel women on a journey if you are new here my name is emily and on this channel i talk about all things motherhood living a healthy lifestyle homeschool and faith so if any of those things interest you be sure to hit that subscribe button below and click that bell on the side that'll give you notifications whenever i post new videos so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you um some of the games that we have been using to kind of spice up our homeschool and these are not homeschool specific games but they are learning games so i'm going to share those with you guys now the first game i want to share with you guys is sight word swat now this game has been really fun for my son and just being able to remember the words that we have been learning um and basically the object of the game is you have a whole bunch of these flies they have let's see if i can take it out So all these flies have different sight words on them. And basically the color kind of has to do with the uh, difficulty of it. So the blue ones are a little bit more simple and then the green ones are a little bit more difficult. And then you have like orange, you have all different colors. Um, so they're all based on level. And then you have these little swatters. It comes with four of them. So if you have multiple kids, this is really great um for my son i kind of modify it because he is an only child so i basically just kind of um give him a certain amount of time to try to figure out which word it is that he needs to swat otherwise we move on to the next word so that's just kind of how i modify it for him and so this game has been really fun for him to be able to do and just kind of change things up when we don't really want to do book work and um just want to kind of do something a little bit different and more fun but he's still learning at the same time and he's reviewing a lot of the words that he's been um working on the past few weeks so the next game i want to share with you guys is sun swamp now this is a really great game it's an addition game and so the object of the game is you have this big board here and basically you have three dice and the three dice are um Two of them are numbers, and then one of them is addition or subtraction. So you also have these swamp critters, and basically what happens is you just put them at the start, and you're going to roll the three dice. And whatever the number is, whether it be um, 5 plus 3, or it comes up, you know, 5 minus 3, you're going to put the larger number first, put the, um, the symbol second, and the smaller number third. And basically, that's how many spaces you're going to move. And then there's different things that you're going to do, such as you have evens, so you're going to roll again. And if you have an even number, you're going to move that many spaces um, and so on. So there, there's a few different things that you're going to do other than just the addition. So this is really fun. We've only played it one time so far, and um, he's just learning. he was just learning subtraction, but his addition facts are not completely solid yet. Um, so this has been fun to kind of help him in kind of thinking and, and adding on the fly. So the other game that we have is Clumsy Thief Jr. Uh, my son wasn't quite ready for this yet. I think we might have to wait a couple months before we pull it out again. But basically it's a game of, um, adding numbers that make 10. And so you're dealt a certain amount of cards. You have to make 10 as quick as possible. And then you can actually snatch other people's cards. And so this is a really great game if you want to play as a family or um, you have several kids. Then this is a really great game to just reinforce, reinforce more math facts. The other game we have is Mental Blocks. And I found out about this game through Yasmin over at Mommy on the Move. And this is a really great critical thinking game, uh, memorization game. And so basically what you do is you have a set of these cards and they get more and more difficult the higher the number. You see this number right here. And so total of 40 different combinations. You give, um, you can play this with multiple kids. I do it a little bit differently because again, my son is an only child. So um, what we do is I kind of have a, as a timer since, He's not really playing with anyone specifically and he plays with us. It's just not fair. Um, so basically what it is is that you, re you look at the card for about 10 seconds, then you put it away, and then they have to go into this box 
and they have to take out the ones that they remember in the right order, the right color combination and everything. And so it's just a really fun game and just helping them to remember what it is that they're um, seeing and the details. And so this has been um, a fun game as well. So I'm glad I actually found out about it through her. The other game we have is Zingo, and this is basically a word builder game. And so you have these cards here, and these are all three letter uh, word cards. And so on the yellow side, you're just missing one letter, but on the back, the orange side, you're missing two letters. So basically what you do is you have this compartment <laughs> um, has different letters inside of it. And so Basically what you do is you slide this forward, you pull it back and it gives you two letters. And so you have to try to make a word with the letters that you're given. And so this game is really great for spelling, word recognition, um, vowels, consonants, things like that. Hey guys, so as I'm editing, I realized I never actually shared how to play a game. Uh, basically, you would find the letters that match or you can make words on the card and then whoever is the one who can make uh, fill up their card first is the winner and you would shout Zingo, kind of like you would do with Bingo, and that person would win the game. So I definitely recommend this game as well. And so that's all the games that we have been using to make learning a bit more fun and just kind of getting away from the books every now and then. So let me know in the comments below if you have any of these games, do you like them? Um, are there any other games that you could recommend? Put them down in the comments. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it does help me with my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.